Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for joining. Welcome to Nicole's Time Cooking. Today, I'm going to share with you my red snapper recipe. Stay tuned. This is one you don't want to miss. Let's take a quick look at a few of my spices and natural herbs that I'm going to be using today to prepare my red snapper. Now I will work on my bell pepper. First, I'm going to be slicing my yellow bell pepper. I will now continue with my red. I'll give it like four slices. Next, I'm going to move over to my green bell pepper. All done. Now, it's that time to add my spices. First, I'm going to be using some olive oil. In this container with olive oil, I will first add my Old Bay season. Next, some seafood blend season. Then, I will go in with my ginger powder. The rest of my spices are history. Just sit back, relax, and follow me as I season my red snapper. Now, I have added all my spices into my olive oil in this container. I have mixed my spices together. Before I apply these spices over my red snapper. But first, before I begin, I will make small pockets, slices, alongside my snapper. One two slices and another one three slicing my red snapper giving them these pockets will help the spices to soak in faster and giving my snapper a more spicier delicious taste i have a few here this also helps the oil to penetrate into the snapper and frying it perfect just the way I want it. These pockets will serve the purpose for both frying and marinating of our snapper. Let's begin brushing on our spices on our red snapper. Start brushing spices from head to bottom. Don't forget to apply spices to each pocket on your red snapper. Make sure you have adequate amount of spices all over. Apply inside the head. Repeat the process on this side till your spice is evenly distributed all over your red snapper. This brushing technique is very useful when you are air frying your fish or baking them. 
it's good to add some olive oil then add your spices to your olive oil then applying it to whatever type of seafood that you're making after one to three hours of marinating it's time to add our red snapper in the pot for frying make sure the oil is really hot before adding your red snapper in the pot after placing snapper in the oil leave for two to three minutes before turning to the other side this will help preventing it from breaking apart Fry both sides of your red snapper till it's nice and brown and dry to your desired liking. Looks like our snapper is finally done. Let's steam our snapper for a few minutes with some natural herbs and spices. First, we're gonna go in with some ginger and some garlic and scallion. Let's fry for a few minutes. Then add onion. Leave to caramelize for one to two minutes. Stir together. Let's extract these goodness from these natural herbs that we have here. Or garlic and ginger. We want that natural flavor into our oil. Time to add my bell peppers first, green, then yellow, along with my red. I will leave these to steam for two to three minutes with my snapper. Sprinkle a mixture of all the spices that you use to season your red snapper. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed my red snapper recipe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comments down below.